In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly asked by HP. These questions are designed to assess candidates' skills, experiences, and cultural fit within the company. Alongside each question, we will provide insightful answers to help you prepare effectively. This resource aims to enhance your confidence and improve your chances of success in the HP interview process. 1. What programming languages are you proficient in, and how have you applied them in your previous work? In my previous roles, I have worked extensively with languages such as Python, Java, and JavaScript. Python was primarily used for data analysis and automation tasks, where its libraries, like Pandas and NumPy, proved invaluable. Java was utilized in developing robust backend applications, ensuring scalability and performance. JavaScript, along with frameworks like React, helped in creating dynamic user interfaces for web applications. Each language allowed me to tackle specific challenges effectively, enhancing both productivity and code quality in projects. 2. Explain the concept of object-oriented programming and its key principles. Object-oriented programming, OOP, is a programming paradigm based on the concept of objects, which can contain data in the form of fields, attributes, and code in the form of procedures, methods. The key principles of OOP include 1. Encapsulation, bundling data and methods that operate on the data within one unit, restricting access to some of the object's components. 2. Abstraction, hiding complex implementation details and exposing only the necessary features of an object. 3. Inheritance, creating new classes from existing ones, allowing for code reusability and hierarchical classification. 4. Polymorphism, allowing objects to be treated as instances of their parent class enabling one interface to control access to different data types. These principles enhance code organization, maintainability, and scalability. 3. What is your experience with database management systems? Can you explain the differences between SQL and NOSQL databases? I have significant experience with both SQL and NOSQL database management systems. In previous roles, I used SQL databases like MySQL and PostgreSQL for structured data, where relationships between tables were crucial. These databases enforce a schema, ensuring data integrity and consistency. In contrast, I utilized NOSQL databases like MongoDB and Cassandra for unstructured or semi-structured data, allowing for more flexibility and scalability. NOSQL is ideal for high volume and rapidly changing datasets, while SQL is great for complex queries and transactions. Understanding both types enables me to choose the right database solution based on project needs. 4. How would you troubleshoot a printer that's not connecting to a network? When troubleshooting a printer that's not connecting to a network, I would first check the printer's network settings to ensure it's connected to the correct Wi-Fi network. Next, I would verify that the router is functioning properly by checking other devices' connections. Checking for any error messages on the printer's display can provide insights into the issue. Restarting both the printer and router can often resolve connectivity problems. If the printer is using a static IP, I would ensure that the IP address is correctly set and not conflicting with other devices on the network. 5. Describe your experience with cloud computing platforms. Have you worked with any specific services? I have extensive experience with cloud computing platforms, particularly Amazon Web Services, AWS, and Microsoft Azure. In my previous role, I utilized AWS for deploying scalable applications and managing storage solutions using S3 and EC2 instances. I also worked on Azure to implement a serverless architecture with Azure Functions, which improved efficiency and reduced costs. Collaborating with Teams, I helped migrate legacy applications to cloud environments, ensuring seamless integration and minimal downtime. My practical knowledge includes setting up cloud security measures and optimizing resource allocation for projects. 6. What strategies do you use for optimizing code performance? Optimizing code performance involves several strategies. Firstly, I focus on algorithm efficiency selecting the right data structures to minimize time complexity. I also utilize profiling tools to identify bottlenecks and measure performance metrics. Caching frequently accessed data can significantly reduce load times. In addition, I practice code refactoring to eliminate redundancies and improve readability. Writing modular code allows for easier testing and optimization. Finally, I stay informed about best practices and advancements in programming languages, which helps me implement the latest optimization techniques. 7. How do you ensure the security of software applications you develop? Ensuring the security of software applications involves a multi-layered approach. First, I implement secure coding practices by following established guidelines like OWASP. Regular code reviews and static analysis tools help identify vulnerabilities early in development. Additionally, I ensure proper authentication and authorization mechanisms are in place, 
using techniques such as role-based access control. I conduct thorough testing, including penetration tests, to uncover potential security flaws. Staying updated with the latest security threats and patching any identified vulnerabilities promptly is also essential for maintaining application security. 8. Can you explain the difference between a thread and a process? A thread is the smallest unit of processing that can be scheduled by an operating system, while a process is an instance of a program that can contain one or more threads. Processes are independent, with their own memory space, whereas threads within the same process share resources and memory. This makes threads more lightweight and efficient for tasks that require concurrent execution. However, due to shared memory, threads require careful management to avoid issues like race conditions. Understanding these differences is crucial for optimizing performance in multi-threaded applications. 9. What is your approach to version control and collaborative coding? Version control is essential for maintaining code integrity while collaborating with others. I use Git for version control, which allows me to track changes, revert to previous versions, and manage branches effectively. In collaborative coding, I emphasize clear communication and establish a workflow, such as Git flow, that suits the team's needs. Regular code reviews and pull requests help maintain code quality and facilitate knowledge sharing. I also encourage the use of documentation to ensure everyone understands the code base, fostering a collaborative environment that enhances productivity and reduces errors. 10. How familiar are you with HP's product lines and technologies? I have a strong familiarity with HP's diverse product lines, including printers, laptops, desktops, and workstations. I've had hands-on experience with various HP printer series, understanding their features and capabilities, such as the HP LaserJet and HP Envy lines. Additionally, I am aware of HP's advancements in sustainability and innovations in technology, such as the integration of AI and IoT in their products. This knowledge allows me to effectively communicate product benefits and assist customers in selecting the right solutions for their needs. 11. Tell me about a time when you had to work on a challenging project with a tight deadline. In a previous role, I was assigned a project that required developing a new software feature within two weeks, while the usual time frame was a month. I quickly organized a team meeting to outline our goals and delegate tasks based on individual strengths. We adopted an agile approach, conducting daily stand-ups to track progress and address any blockers. By prioritizing critical tasks and maintaining open communication, we successfully delivered the feature on time. The experience taught me the importance of teamwork and adaptability under pressure, which are essential in fast-paced environments. 12. How do you handle conflicts within a team? Handling conflicts within a team requires active listening and empathy. I first ensure that all parties involved have an opportunity to express their perspectives without interruption. This helps to identify the root cause of the conflict. I then facilitate a discussion focused on finding common ground and potential solutions. Encouraging collaboration and fostering an environment of respect is crucial. If necessary, I seek the help of a mediator to assist in resolving the issue. Ultimately, the goal is to maintain team cohesion while addressing the concerns in a constructive manner. 13. Describe a situation where you had to learn a new technology quickly. How did you approach it? When I was assigned a project that required using a new cloud service, I quickly realized the need to familiarize myself with it. I began by researching official documentation and tutorials to grasp the fundamentals. Engaging in online forums and communities helped me connect with others who had experience with the technology. I set up a small test environment to experiment hands-on, which allowed me to apply what I learned. By breaking down the learning process into manageable steps and dedicating time daily, I was able to effectively integrate the new technology into the project within a short time frame. 14. Give an example of how you've contributed to improving a process or system in your previous role. In my previous role as a software developer, I identified inefficiencies in our code deployment process. I proposed and implemented a CI, CD pipeline that automated testing and deployment, significantly reducing the time taken from development to production. This system allowed for faster feedback on code changes and minimized human errors. As a result, our team could deploy updates more frequently, enhancing product reliability and user satisfaction. This initiative not only improved efficiency but also fostered a culture of continuous improvement within the team. 15. How do you stay updated with the latest trends and advancements in technology? I stay updated with the latest trends and advancements in technology through a combination of online resources, industry publications, and networking. Subscribing to relevant blogs, podcasts, and newsletters helps me gain insights into emerging technologies and best practices. I also participate in webinars and online courses to deepen my knowledge. Attending technology conferences and meetups enables me to connect with experts and peers, fostering discussions about innovative developments. 
Engaging with communities on platforms like LinkedIn allows me to share ideas and stay informed about industry shifts. 16. How would you approach designing a new product for HP? To design a new product for HP, I would start by conducting thorough market research to identify customer needs and gaps in the current offerings. Engaging with stakeholders, including customers, engineers, and marketing teams, is crucial to gather insights. I would utilize design thinking principles to brainstorm innovative solutions, ensuring the product is user-centric. Prototyping and iterative testing would allow for feedback incorporation, refining the product before launch. Collaboration across departments, including R&D and manufacturing, ensures feasibility and alignment with HP's strategic goals. 17. If tasked with improving the energy efficiency of our printers, what steps would you take? To enhance energy efficiency in printers, I would initiate a comprehensive assessment of current power consumption patterns. Identifying high energy components for potential upgrades is crucial. Implementing energy saving features, such as automatic sleep mode and user settings to minimize energy use, would be beneficial. Collaborating with engineers to explore alternative materials and technologies that reduce energy demands is important. Additionally, promoting awareness among users about best practices for energy conservation, like printing double sided and using draft mode for less critical documents, can significantly contribute to overall energy efficiency. 18. How would you go about diagnosing and fixing a recurring software bug? Diagnosing a recurring software bug involves a systematic approach. First, I would replicate the bug in a controlled environment to understand the conditions under which it occurs. Then, I would analyze the code using debugging tools to trace the issue. Gathering logs and error messages helps identify patterns leading to the bug. Collaboration with team members can provide fresh perspectives. Once the root cause is identified, I would implement a fix and conduct thorough testing to ensure the issue is resolved. Finally, Documenting the process helps prevent similar issues in the future. 19. Describe how you would explain a complex technical concept to a non-technical audience. When explaining a complex technical concept, it's essential to break it down into simpler components using relatable analogies. For instance, if discussing cloud computing, I might compare it to a virtual storage locker where users can access their belongings from anywhere. Visual aids, like diagrams or infographics, can also help clarify ideas. Encouraging questions creates an open dialogue, ensuring understanding. This approach fosters comprehension and retention. 20. What strategies would you employ to improve customer satisfaction with HP products? To enhance customer satisfaction with HP products, I would focus on three main strategies, actively gathering and analyzing customer feedback, streamlining support services, and enhancing product usability. Conducting surveys, interviews, and monitoring social media would provide valuable insights into customer needs and pain points. By improving the responsiveness and efficiency of support through better training and resources for staff, we can resolve customer issues swiftly. Lastly, ensuring products are user-friendly and intuitive would lead to a more satisfying experience, encouraging brand loyalty and positive word of mouth. 21. Why do you want to work for HP specifically? I am drawn to HP due to its commitment to innovation and sustainability in technology. The company's focus on creating products that not only enhance user experience but also contribute positively to the environment resonates deeply with my values. I admire HP's dedication to diversity and inclusion, fostering a workplace where various perspectives are valued. Additionally, HP's reputation for cutting-edge research and development offers an exciting environment for professional growth. I am eager to contribute my skills and passion for technology to help advance HP's mission and vision. 22. What do you think sets HP apart from its competitors in the tech industry? HP stands out in the tech industry due to its strong commitment to innovation and sustainability. The company continuously invests in research and development, leading to cutting-edge products that meet evolving customer needs. HP's focus on eco-friendly practices, such as producing energy-efficient printers and using recycled materials, resonates with environmentally conscious consumers. Additionally, HP's robust customer support and comprehensive service offerings enhance user experience, fostering brand loyalty. This combination of innovation, sustainability, and customer centricity positions HP uniquely in the competitive landscape. 23. How do you see yourself contributing to HP's mission and values? I envision myself contributing significantly by leveraging my technical skills and innovative mindset. My focus will be on developing sustainable and user-friendly technologies that align with HP's commitment to environmental responsibility. Engaging in collaborative projects, I aim to enhance product efficiency while ensuring exceptional customer experiences. By actively participating in community initiatives, I will promote HP's values of diversity and inclusion. 
Ultimately, I seek to drive initiatives that not only advance company goals but also foster a positive impact on society and the environment. 24. What HP product or service interests you the most, and why? One HP product that particularly interests me is the HP Spectre X360 laptop. Its sleek design, high performance capabilities, and versatility as a two in one device make it appealing for both personal and professional use. The long battery life and vibrant display enhance productivity, while the security features, such as the fingerprint reader, provide peace of mind for users concerned about data protection. I appreciate how HP has integrated sustainability into its manufacturing processes, which aligns with my values regarding environmental responsibility. This product exemplifies innovation and user centric design. 25. Where do you see HP in the next five years, and how do you envision your role in that future? In the next five years, I see HP leading the way in sustainable technology innovations, with a strong focus on environmental responsibility and user centric designs. The company will likely expand its presence in emerging markets, embracing cloud solutions and AI driven products. I envision my role as a contributor to these innovations, utilizing my skills in software development and problem solving to enhance product features that align with user needs. Collaborating with cross-functional teams, I aim to drive efforts that elevate customer experience and foster loyalty. As you prepare for your HP interview, being equipped with the right questions and thoughtful answers can significantly enhance your confidence and performance. The insights shared in this video cover a range of topics that reflect the company's values and expectations, helping you to better understand what HP looks for in a candidate. Remember, practice makes perfect, and familiarity with these questions can set you apart from other applicants. If you found this content helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more valuable tips and resources. Good luck with your interview journey.